Of course, the big news yesterday was Super Bowl 53. Congratulations to the New England Patriots on their sixth Super Bowl championship. Well done to all of you guys. Yeah. <laughs> you don't have to clap. <laughs> you don't have to clap. We all know what happened. The game is... <laughs> We're like, yeah, you won. The game was terrible. <laughs> Did you watch it? I don't know. I, here's the thing. I don't know that much about football, and even I was like, this has to be a bad game, isn't it? <laughs> isn't it? This is... It was the lowest-scoring Super Bowl in history and the lowest-rated in 10 years, so... <laughs> it was less of a Super Bowl and more of a... just OK bowl. It was fine. <laughs> There was only a single touchdown in the whole game. Now, here's the thing. I don't want to hear one more word from Americans about how soccer is dull and no one ever scores the rest of my life. But, of course, the Patriots beat the Rams. Everyone here in L.A. is devastated. I mean, I think they are. It's... <laughs> it's... It's hard to tell <laughs> with the levels of Botox in Los Angeles <laughs> how anyone really feels. <laughs> oh, my God. I'm so upset. I am so upset right now. I can't <laughs> uh, Here's Patriots quarterback Tom Brady and Super Bowl MVP Julian Edelman right after winning the game. Take a look. Now, <laughs> they do know they can still go to Disney World even if they lost, right? <laughs> I've never won the Super Bowl. I've been to Disney World, like, six times. <laughs> I... Like, was that the motivation that the Patriots needed at halftime? <laughs> Guys, come on. Remember, if we win this, we get to ride the teacups. <laughs> And so they won the Super Bowl, and, lo and behold, here they are today. <laughs> they did it. They went to Disney World. Everyone says it. I didn't think anyone followed through. <laughs> but they seem to be having a fun time. Here they are dressed as Star Wars characters here. That's... <laughs> Edelman on the right, he had a good time, but he kept running into trouble with those signs that say, you must be this tall to go on the ride. It was actually kind of disappointing for him. Uh, but they went, they were dressed like a Jedi. Now, Tom Brady is the only person who could win six Super Bowl rings, be married to a supermodel, and still somehow manage to look like a virgin. <laughs> It's quite an achievement. It really is. Moving on, uh, some political news. During an interview before the game yesterday, President Trump said that he doesn't always listen to the advice given to him in briefings and that he doesn't always have to agree with his intelligence officials. <laughs> I think we already knew Trump has a bad relationship with intelligence. <laughs> like... <laughs> didn't we...? Then, Trump gave kind of an odd example of when he might go against his intelligence team. Take a look. My intelligence people, if they said, in fact, that Iran is a wonderful kindergarten, I disagree with them 100%. <laughs> Iran is a wonderful kindergarten. That's not a sentence. That's something you say when you're high after the dentist. <laughs> this, this can only mean one of two things. Either Trump doesn't know what Iran is, or he doesn't know what kindergarten is. <laughs> and finally, we had to show you this. Costco has started selling a five-tier wedding cake made entirely out of cheese. The cake weighs 22 pounds and costs $440. Here it is here. Look at that. So, <laughs> if your wedding vows don't bind you, at least the cake will. <laughs> a cake made of cheese. It's a little odd, but it does make more sense when you see the bride and groom. <laughs>